Hi guys, everybody, it's me, let me in, finish trying the course today, it's my turn at the microphone. Michelle just did a few of her own, and I thought it sounded kind of like she was kind of a little bit um, inconsistent, but that's Michelle's video, not mine. Hey, that's all mine. It's just, you sounded like you're trying to say like five different things at once, like you're trying to juggle, you know, like five very sharp um uh chainsaws <laughs> yeah okay all right so it's my turn so um today i wanted to talk to my five users um and first of all i want to tell you thank you very much uh for uh becoming a part of my um uh, adventure with you um of course i admit that we i have done a lot of things good things bad things like uh as far as videos and so some people found my videos to be a little bit eclectic and so i think maybe i need to try to come down to earth a bit more with you um so i'll try uh, first of all let's let let you know what's going on um in the near future uh for those of you who are hollywood hillbilly fans i know michelle is i know i am um the season will be starting on reels uh, it's R E E L Z channel. You can find out more from www.reelz.com. Um, this the season will be starting on August 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so you can check it out there. Um, obviously, the family is already living in Los Angeles. And uh, as far as we know, from what little bit of videos that we saw on YouTube by Copper Cap, um, he is um, working now with Ray J and producing an album. And um, so that's, that's all I know. I don't know much more than that. See, uh, there is a lot of right now anger at the um, different companies. The, well, I should say a lot of anger by the different American companies at the National Security Agency uh, for their um, harvesting of data at huge amounts of data. Um, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, uh, along with a few other activist groups, have filed a lawsuit against the National Security Agency demanding them to stop destroying data that is supposed to be used for the case. Uh, it turns out that the um, NSA wrote to the George and said, judge and said, oh, um, but we, in order to complete the rules of the, um, the uh, Foreign Intelligence Security Court, um, we have to destroy the data because otherwise Section 207 would become null and void. So I got a feeling something's going on because that part doesn't make any sense. Um, I've heard people say that maybe they're actually using that as an excuse to destroy the data because they don't want to deal with um, the ramifications of government spying um, information being released to public. Uh, as I said, that's more Michelle saying. I don't know all the details, um, but I just know is that that doesn't really make sense to me. Now, um, other thing is, is what happens when police department goes a little overboard? Um, this is a story that occurred in Georgia. Um, this family from Wisconsin was staying with another family after they had several damage from a fire in their house. They had their, their, their 18 month old son with them in a playpen. And this family, of course, did know that the host family had was selling meth amphetamine and the police decided to serve a no war no knock warrant unaware that there was a child in this uh converted garage and so they launched a flashbang grenade which fell right next to the child's face and caused severe damage to the face and the chest of the child uh According to the latest report I read from RT.com, um, the young boy is suffering. He's going to need to have a face transplant 
and uh, right now he's on a breathing machine and uh, he's pretty much in a medically induced coma so that um, to, to spare him the trauma he's hanging on for dear life um, however the Attorney General for the state of Georgia had agreed that they wanted to know what was really going on um, and what kind of things that the local uh, sheriff's office had done or not done. Um, turns out that the sheriff himself confessed that we did not really investigate the house to determine if there were children present. Otherwise, we would not have used a flash paint grenade. Um, the, the whole thing is, is that it's just an example of where stupidity can result in somebody getting killed, okay? It happens, and it's really, really despicable. It happens everywhere that somebody out there says, oh, okay, it's all right, um, it doesn't matter, um, you know. Well, let's be honest here. We come onto Earth for, for time to learn something. What is an 18-month-year-old boy baby going to learn? Um, well, now when he's permanently lost his hearing, more than likely... Maybe permanently blinded, and um, I don't think he's gonna really learn much, except if he does remember the moment. It's gonna probably forever scar him emotionally, and certainly will scar him physically. Um, so I don't think this demonstrates um, both good uh, lack of discern or good discernment by the police department, the sheriff's office, or anyone else for using such um, a tool at 3 a.m. in the morning, especially with a no-knock no warrant. Uh, I think that they should have possibly um, maybe went there in the daytime, knocked on the door, because said that there was, you know, probably, the mother said that you could see the kids' shoes are everywhere because she had three children there in the home. They were deliberately trying to keep the kids away from the other people, um, the host family, because of the the methamphetamine dealings. Um, they didn't want to get, you know, implicated in it because it had nothing to do with it. Um, they decided that after this ordeal that they do want to return to Wisconsin. Uh, but now, of course, the son is in serious critical condition in an uh, in internal intensive care unit at a local hospital in Georgia, in Atlanta, and um, with severe burns. So that's really going to stop um, their plans to get home, especially since they had no money for airplane ticket in the first place. They had no, that, what little money that they had, um, it was used, is being used to try to treat their son. And, um, and they're going to be forever, for, or at least for a very long time at the very minimum, are going to be financially hurting. Um, you can look on RT.com for the story. It should be easy enough to search for it. Um, now, the other thing is that Michelle and I have been looking into um, other things on the local level, the weather uh, information. And uh, she pointed out to me that, well, it's not necessarily been consistently true across the board. Um, but uh, as you look at the long-term trends that we're going to be seeing, and we do see a cooling trend, uh, for the most part, for the um, monthly averages, uh, temperatures. She said to me that right now, this month, it appears that we are about 2 to 3 degrees Fahrenheit below normal, about 6 degrees Celsius, Celsius below normal for our area. Um, right now, outside, it's about 25 degrees Celsius, which is about where it should be for this time in June. Um, but, you know... Michelle says, I've usually seen temperatures higher than that, usually in about 28, 29 degrees. So um, it's still a little bit below normal. Uh, not quite as bad as it could be, but it's still, you know, low. Also, again, I want to remind every single person who's been watching my channel and have been watching and have not subscribed for whatever reason that I really would love you to subscribe. And please don't forget, I will accept your comments and talk with you and 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 try to um be a resource for you to find the information about spirituality and the other side and, and other things too michelle and i have been uh right now have been struggling with uh a lot of uh, everyday life issues so we really haven't had time to really focus on our videos 
on that thing. As you can see, um, Michelle and I got our hair done a couple days ago, and it looks pretty good. It was trimmed a little shorter because of the fact is it had grown so long, and it was down to our nostrils on the front here. Um, so they had to trim a lot of excess length off um, because in the front of the bangs because they're just going to be really ridiculous. Um, the hair, I mean, I'm doing good health-wise. Michelle's doing good health-wise. Um, but as far as emotionally go, uh, Michelle kind of said, I wish they could put me in a medically induced coma uh, because Michelle hates summer. Um, and I don't particularly blame her personally, even though she's taking her antidepressants. It does not mean that you don't get depressed. It just means you just get less depressed. Uh, but the SS... NRI or SS or SNRI, right? Serotonin non reuptake inhibitor. What a name. Okay, so a sneery. Okay, so Michelle takes she takes um, uh, a generic brand called Venlafaxine, uh, which is uh, sometimes works really well, sometimes it doesn't do enough. Sometimes. It's hard to say if it really is necessary. Um, but no matter how you do it, it still comes out to be the same. Michelle is just trying to hold on. Uh, of course, I know Michelle has been looking forward to getting the new tape drive for the computer for backing up. She's particularly concerned about making sure that we do not lose the data that we lost last time when Michelle lost thousands and thousands of very precious files that she had worked for years to collect. Um, I know that she's been planning to recover them. Um, by the way, Michelle's cataract in her right eye is clearly a mess. Uh, it seems that mother had tried to work on it, uh, but I think she kind of dropped the ball somewhere because the right left eye is absolutely clear. The right eye is totally forked. For the most part, it actually depends on which way you look at the eye. If you're looking at it this way, you can see the cataract more. If you're looking at it this way, you see it too, but not quite as much. So, my mother told Michelle is that the eye damage is very extensive, and we don't really can't guarantee how well it's going to get in the near future. So, um, it happens when everybody gets old. Some people get cataracts, some people do not. So. Um, it's just life. Michelle's just holding on, doing the best you can. Actually, compared to a lot of people who find out what they get into building, condition like that, Michelle's been a real trooper. She's holding out. She's doing her best she can and trying to get things done. Yeah, I have been. Okay, so, now, um, like I said, I want to hear from you, okay? So, please, don't forget to like, comment in the comment section below, share with your friends, and if you have not yet done so, subscribe to the channel to keep up with any new posts and things like that. Okay? Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.